In this video, we will focus on phases 3 and 4 of anterior cruciate ligament rehabilitation exercises. For phase 3, your physiotherapist will work with you on agility training exercises, running and improving your core as well as lower leg and hip strength. All these are important to help sportsmen and people who are into high-level competitive sports return to their sports. For people who do not fall into these two categories, you are still highly recommended to proceed with phases 3 and 4. If you have undergone the ACL reconstruction surgery, you can start on phase 3 exercises 4 to 5 months after your surgery. You will continue working on these exercises for 2 to 3 months until 6 months after your surgery. You will be able to get back to doing the same sporting activities you used to do about 9 months to a year after your surgery. The goals that you should target to achieve for phase 3 of the rehabilitation exercises are the ability to regain speed and coordination, and quick change of direction in the legs. If you like running or take part in sports that requires running, you may return to running at this stage of your rehabilitation. Do a good warm-up before you start running. Start off with a treadmill or flat ground. You may run wearing your knee brace and take it off after you feel stable and have gained confidence. You may begin by walking at a moderate speed, then progress to run at a slow speed for short distances. Monitor your body and increase the speed and distance when you do not feel pain or experience an increase in swelling of your knee. Remember to run on straight paths and avoid running up hills or uneven surfaces. Do a slow jog for about 5 to 10 minutes at your own pace. But if you experience some pain in your knee when you run, you can try alternating each round of running with one round of walking. You will work on strengthening your lower body by doing some of these exercises. Lunges is one of them. For forward lunge, put your hands on your hips and take a big step forward. Lower your body to the ground and return to the starting position. Repeat for the other leg. Do 10 to 15 repetitions for each leg, 3 times a day. For reverse lunge, take a big step backward. Lower your body to the ground, then return to the starting position. Repeat for the other leg. Do 10 to 15 repetitions for each leg, 3 times a day. You can also work on doing split squats. You start this exercise by standing in a split leg position, with one leg forward and one leg backwards. Bend your knees and lower your hip until the back knee is just above the ground. Return to your starting position. Do this for both legs. Do 10 to 15 repetitions for each leg, 3 times a day. You can progress to the next level of doing split squats while holding on to a ball. Do 10 to 15 repetitions for each leg, 3 times a day. You will also train to build your core. Having a strong and stable core allows you to maintain strong positions and make powerful movements that are sometimes required for the sports you are returning to. Do these core training exercises under the supervision of your physiotherapist. You can start off with doing prone planks where you hold in position for 20 to 30 seconds and to do 5 repetitions. Keep your torso straight with no sagging. As you build up your core, you can proceed to do other plank exercises, one of which is a side plank. Lie on the side of the operator leg with your legs straight and your feet placed on top of each other. Place your elbow under your shoulder. Lift your hips off the ground and use your elbows and the side of the operator leg to support your weight. Your body should be in a straight line. Hold for 20 to 30 seconds and lower yourself back to the ground. Do 5 repetitions. Next, we move on to do bridging. Lie with your back on the mat. Rest your hands on your sides. Bend your knees and place your feet on the ground. Raise your hips and make sure it's a straight line from your knee to your shoulder. Hold for 20 to 30 seconds and lower your hips back to the ground. Do 5 repetitions. You will do single leg pelvic bridge. Place your good leg over the operator leg. Hold for 20 to 30 seconds and relax to original resting position. Do 5 repetitions. You can proceed to do pelvic bridging with a Swiss ball. Lie with your back on the mat. Rest your feet on top of the Swiss ball. Place your arms out on your sides. Dig your heels into the ball to roll the ball until your knees are bent and 90 degrees. Slowly roll the ball back to the starting position. Do 5 repetitions. Together with a physiotherapist or a partner, you can work on the Nordic hamstring eccentric curl exercises. Kneel on the mat while your partner holds on to your ankles. Lean forward slowly and in a controlled manner. Put your hands out in front of you on the floor to support yourself only when you can no longer rely on your legs to do so. Push yourself back to the starting position. Do 5 repetitions. Here are the exercises you will do during the agility drill under supervision of your physiotherapist. Double leg hops.
Singer Lick Hops. Triple Hops on Singer Operator Link. Crossover Hops on Singer Operator Link. Shutter Run. Ladder Drill. Hudder Drill. In phase 4 of the rehabilitation, which starts about 6 months after your surgery, your physiotherapist will work with you on your return to sports. You will focus on retraining exercises specific to the sports that you would like to return to. You will undergo assessments with your physiotherapist to assess if you are already fit to return to sports at this point. Some of the tests include Isokinetic test, which is a strength test for the muscle around the knee using the dynamo meter. The results are used to determine the difference in the strength between the two legs. Functional hop test, which includes the jumping drills to assess the ability to generate force for jumping and the stability in landing between legs. These tests help assess if you are ready to return to sports activities and also identify the risk of re-injury. NUH runs an orthopedic diagnostic center which assesses patients, especially the athletes and those active in sports, after their knee surgeries to track their recovery process and propose care plans to help them return to sports. We hope this video has been useful to you. Thank you and bye.